What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today, bringing you guys another Madden video. And today, we are going to be talking about some suggestions that I have for Madden 15 Ultimate Team. In the background, you're going to be watching a game that I played against a subscriber. It's actually a very close game, comes down to the wire, and then we end up losing connection in the end. But um, the, the end, you'll probably be able to tell who was winning at the end and what the very likely outcome was going to be. But... Um, anyway, I wanted to get into some suggestions that I have specifically for Madden 15 Ultimate Team when it comes to the head-to-head -head seasons in the game. Because uh, I think head-to-head -head seasons is one of the best things that they implemented in this year's Madden Ultimate Team. But there are definitely some ways that it needs to be improved going forward. So, number one. One of the things that I want to see are some bonuses or at least to not lose things when people quit in head-to-head -head seasons games so for example if somebody quits against you in a head-to-head -head seasons game why should you for example lose your contracts or like why should your injuries stay if a player on your team gets injured why should it be sustained through multiple games if your opponent quit and you didn't even finish the game Another thing that would be kind of cool is to actually get like a little bonus for when you force people to rage quit. Just give us something cheap like a reward pack or like a Lombardi pack or you know something cool like that. I think it would be a nice way to you know give you at least something because I know there's a lot of times where people for example don't even get the coins that they're supposed to get for winning a game when the opponent rage quits or, or disconnects or something like that. So. That would be one thing. Now, the second thing goes along with that. And, and what I'm talking about is the rage quitting. I, I would love to see them actually implement some sort of like suspension or something like that when an opponent quits too often. So let's say somebody has lost three straight games and they quit or lost connection in all three of them. Let's suspend that person for a day or even just like a couple hours so that they can't just be going into games and quitting constantly because that gets so annoying. I, I just want to be able to play a full game on occasion, you know, and I understand there's going to be those people that quit at the end of games when they're down, you know, three scores in the fourth quarter. I get that a little bit more, but there's people who literally quit if they don't get a touchdown on the first drive. It happens all the time. And if you've played a lot of head-to-head -head seasons, you know that. Next thing. I would love to see uh, some sort of way to make it so that people can mutually quit a game. And, and really what I'm talking about is when you know that there's a terrible connection, you get into a game and it's just lag city. Let's make it so that both people can quit voluntarily. If myself and my opponent get into a game and we realize we don't have a good connection to one another, why should we have to sit and play through that? It's just so annoying. Let's just allow both of us to quit and get into a different game. That would be really nice, and I have to imagine it would be a simple thing to implement, so I would love to see it. Now, the fourth thing, I want to see better opponent matchmaking. So, I don't want it to just be based on the division that you're in, and, and the division meaning like, you know, the all Madden division, or the all pro division, or the rookie division. Because if you're new to the game, you will be put into the rookie tier, but there's people who have been playing and building their ultimate teams for months and months and you get into these games and it's just ridiculous when you go up against a 99 overall team when you're in the rookie division. I mean, are you guys kidding me? Like, the rookie division is supposed to be there for people who are just getting started and I'm up against somebody who has all 99s? Are you freaking kidding me? And it happens all the time. It happened to me multiple times when I was in the rookie divisions. And I'm sure it's happened to other people. I have friends that have told me that it's happened to them and that's the reason they don't even play anymore is because they can't get out of the rookie division because they're constantly up against these teams that are just ridiculous. So, I want to see them be able to make it just a little bit more based on things like, you know, the teams overall and uh, not just based on the conference or the division that they're in. Last thing, bigger coin rewards for winning games, especially for winning the Super Bowl. I mean, right now, it's like you practically get nothing for playing head-to-head -head seasons games. It's basically the same playing thing as playing a solo challenge. I, I just... I don't understand why. Why not make it so that at least when you win your Super Bowl that you get some sort of big coin reward? It, even in the rookie division, give me 10,000 coins. 
I mean, I've played a full season of head-to-head -head games. I've endured the lag. I've endured all the BS cheese that happens. I've endured people having 99 overall teams when I'm playing in the rookie division. Give me some freaking coins for playing, please. I have to buy all these contracts, too. So, I mean, it's just... It's so hard to make a profit playing head-to-head -head seasons games. So I would really love to see them implement that somehow. I'd love to see them give me bigger rewards, and it, particularly in the All Madden division. If you get there and you're the in the top All Madden division, why not make it so that you get a decent coin reward if you can win a Super Bowl? I mean, you're playing against perceived to be the best players in the game, so let's help those people get a better team too. I mean, they deserve it, right? Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's suggestion video. My wish list for head-to-head -head seasons on Mutt 15. Um, again, I really appreciate that they actually implemented head-to-head -head seasons because I think that it's something that was a major success overall by EA. Um, it, it adds a lot to the game than just the solo challenges like they've had in the past and, and uh, you know, doing just separate head-to-head -head games. I think it adds a lot to have head-to-head -head seasons and just always be able to find an opponent anytime that you're online. So obviously I love that. I, I love the fact that they've implemented head-to-head -head seasons. But, you know, like I said, there's some areas that I think it needs some improvement in. So I want to hear in the comment section below, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me on the suggestions that I made? Is there something that I missed? Um, are there other things that you guys want to see for head-to-head -head seasons in the next month? Let me know in the comment sections below. If you would, also please leave a like because that helps the, sh the video show up on other people's uh, streams as well. So I would greatly appreciate that if you guys would press that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.